How to care for an injured wild rabbit 1. Do not attempt to care for a wild rabbit yourself. First off, it is illegal to keep a wild animal unless you are licensed by your state's Department of Environmental Protection. Secondly, caring for injured rabbits requires careful training and expertise. Without it, you will probably only make the situation worse. 2. Make certain the rabbit is wild. Almost all wild rabbits are brown with white tails. If you see a rabbit in the wild with different colors, pure white, jet black, gray, striped, spotted, or mixed, it is likely a domesticated rabbit that has escaped or been set loose. These rabbits need your help. They should be captured even if uninjured and taken to a vet to check for diseases. Afterwards, you can care for them yourself or have the rabbit adopted. Three. Be sure the rabbit is really injured. In most cases, wild animals should be left alone. Inexperienced handlers can easily fracture a rabbit's spine picking it up. In addition, the stress of capture often hastens death. If you are going to take a wild rabbit out of its natural environment, you need to be sure it is really injured and needs your help. Some signs that a rabbit is injured include 10. Lying on their sides for extended periods of time. Falling over or inability to run in a straight line. Bleeding or puncture wounds. 4. Keep pets and children away from the animal and leave it in place if the injury is not serious. If the rabbit can move and is not bleeding copiously, it is best to leave it in place. Keep dogs and children away from the rabbit. 5. Contact a vet if the rabbit is seriously injured. If the rabbit is bleeding, lying on its side and cannot walk, or has been in a cat or dog's mouth, contact a vet. You'll want to make sure in advance that the vet is willing to see wildlife patients. If not, the vet will usually be able to refer you to a wildlife care or rehabilitation center. 6. Wear gloves when picking up a wild rabbit. Rabbits can be infected with tularemia, a disease that can be transmitted to humans. Symptoms may include ulcers, inflamed eyes, a sore throat, diarrhea, and pneumonia. The disease can be fatal without treatment. To protect yourself, always handle wild rabbits with gloves and wash your hands with soap and water afterwards. 7. Handle the rabbit with care. To a wild rabbit, being picked up by you seems the same as being grabbed by a hawk or other predator, and its response will be one of fear. You must handle the rabbit properly to minimize this fear and reduce the chance of injuring the rabbit further. 13. Do not pick the rabbit up by the ears, legs, or scruff. Instead, put one hand beneath its chest and another under its bottom. Carry it with its head slightly higher than its rear, to reduce its ability to kick out or bite you. Keep the rabbit close to the ground. The only time rabbits rise high off the ground in the wild is when they are captured by hawks. They don't like it. Transfer the rabbit to a carrier as quickly as possible. The shorter the distance you carry the rabbit, the better. You can transport it to the vet in a basket, shoebox, or carrier. Don't use a carrier that has been used by a cat or dog, as the smells will cause the rabbit anxiety. Please hit the subscribe button, like and hit the notification button for more videos.